Flannery, the one with a fiery passion that burns, the fire-type gym leader of the Hoenn region, and a very spunky lady. I think she's a very cool character with a very cool art style. Also, the fire type is one of my favorites since it has a lot of sick Pokemon in it. Flannery is a pretty cool character, but how will her fire type Pokemon stack up against Generation 7 OU? What's up friends, it's Volt Firecore. Welcome back to Gym Leader Vs. Now today we're going to be showcasing Flannery. Now Flannery, as you can probably tell by the name, is a fiery lady. Very passionately fiery fall. Now this time I actually think I did change my profile picture. It might not show up, but even if it doesn't, that's fine. We're, we're good, we're good. But I did not get any replays inside this, so we're going to just do this normally, like we usually do. But uh, let's take a look at her uh, fiery team. Alright, like I said inside of my Watson video, I'm going to start saying the title of the gym leader. So this is Flannery. Here's her official artwork. She's like wearing a tank top and uh, has some weird lava plume hair. But her uh, title is one with a fiery passion that burns. That's pretty cool. But um, let's go down and check out her team. All right, here it is. Expert World Leaders Tournament. And this is the one we're going to be using. So there's Flannery. She looks very happy, waving inside the air. Really cool character. Her ace is Torkoal, but uh, she decided to use a mixed set, so I'm pretty sure I made it mixed in Showdown. Um, is it supposed to be tanky, but it doesn't really have anything to... Uh, tank with besides the leftovers but that's fine okay then the camera up which has the uh, pasoko berry so water type since it's uh very weak to water probably still gonna get o code though since uh, camera up does not have the best special defense all right but this thing has a will-o-wisp earth power flamethrower and fissure which i had to switch out for something okay the chandelure which is focus sash so if it is faster than something it could call mind up hang on to his Focus Sash, and then uh, go for a uh, Fire-type move. But uh, if it takes us down to a Focus Sash, it's, we're probably really weak to it. All right, then the Blaziken. All right, so um, when I switch this over, I'll talk about why uh, Blaziken was painfully difficult inside this team, because uh, this was kind of an exception, like a big exception inside of this series, and I'm really kind of sad about it, but we're going we're gonna to move past it. All right, then we have Houndoom. Which, um, just as a life orb set, has some, uh, mixed stuff. I don't really have much of a connection to Houndoom, and I don't think it's going to be that helpful. And then we have the Magmortar, which, whenever I use one, it always helps on the team. It has Flame Charge for, uh, gaining speed, I suppose, and then a bunch of good special attacks. It even has the Shuckaberry for, uh, ground types, if you really want to dodge that. But let's port this team over to Pokemon Showdown. Alright, here we are on Pokemon Showdown. Alright, so let's just go over them quickly so I can move on to the, uh, the Blaziken, since that's very important to talk about. So we start off with the Torkoal, which has a special attack and normal attack just split down the middle. Even though I gave a uh, nature to uh, make it special attack better, since I think overheat's a little bit more important to do more damage with. Then we have the uh, Camerupt, which I actually gave Hidden Power Grass, just in case there's a... Um, well, I actually don't know, maybe like a Seismitoad or something. I'm not really too sure what uh, Hidden Power Grass is going to do. But I threw it on since I didn't just want to put on Hidden Power Ice or all that. And I couldn't have Fissure since Fissure is an Oko move. And Insta-Killing is uh, kind of banned. Alright, then we have the Chandelure. Exact same thing. And here we are. The Blaziken exclamation point. The reason there's an exclamation point is because Showdown doesn't want you to have a name of a Pokemon on the top of a Pokemon because it could confuse them or something. So I just threw an exclamation point on. But let's talk about this. So first of all, this is pretty much exactly the same thing as the Blaziken, besides it doesn't have high jump kick um, uh, over its close. It does not have high jump kick, so I gave it close combat. But um, I just put in Infernape since I think it's the closest thing to Blaziken. It's, a gen th um, it's one gen over, being a gen four instead of gen three. It's a firefighting starter. It uh, I, I gave it all the moves has pretty similar stats, it's kind of just a really powerful sweeper. But the reason why Blaziken cannot be used inside of this is because Blaziken, unfortunately, is banned. Now, Blaziken is, well, just to be honest, it's broken. Blaziken has the um, the hidden ability Speed Boost. Now, Speed Boost is not given to many Pokemon, it's given to like Scolipede and uh, Ninjask and uh, Blaziken and all that kind of stuff. 
Basically, it means every single turn, you just gain speed. Just straight up, no, like, no thought about it. So what you can do is um, go for a protect, right? Get your speed boost. Then go for a SD, get times two speed. And then um, after the SD again, it uh, you have times two speed and times two attack. And you can literally just kill. So it's Uber's tier because it is absolutely broken. <laughs> but I put in the uh, Blaziken exclamation point or the Infernape to uh, try to make it up to you guys. But I'm really sorry about this. Um, I really wanted to go inside the Uber's tier and mess around, but we would just get messed up by like a Kyogre or something. So uh, we're still inside of OU, just using um, Infernape instead. All right. <laughs> then we have the Houndoom, which I don't think I gave Flashfire since it's not really important to have Flashfire on this team since uh, I don't think anyone's going to be using Fire-type moves on our Mono Fire team. But I gave it Early Bird, which makes it so... Um, well, the easiest way to explain it is when you fall asleep, there is like a counter that counts down every single time on uh, sleeping. And you have like a maximum amount of turns you can be asleep for. Instead of counting down 1, 2, 3, 4, it counts down 2, 4. So um, it counts down every 2. Uh, I I'm not really sure how it works. I'm not a big uh, um, researcher on sleep mechanics, but it pretty much makes it so we wake up earlier when, we're f um, when we fall asleep, which is cool. Or have a higher chance of waking up. So, yep, it has the exact same set. And then the Meg Mortar, which has the exact same set. Yep, but uh, let's try out this team inside of Generation 7 OU. Now, I have really been appreciating all the constant support on my videos. I haven't been getting the maximum amount of views that I would like, but, you know, I have a fair amount of uh, views on my channel overall. Pretty sure we hit over 10,000, which is insane. So, thank you guys so much. Um, when we do hit like 40 subscribers or 50 subscribers, there will be big milestones, so uh, keep on looking for that. But this dude's running a horrific team with a Clarencer, or Clarencer. So how are we going to beat this Clarencer? I think I'm just going to go into the Meg Mortar and try to T-bolt it. So he does go into Rebombi. Rebombi. Why? Well, it's probably Focus Sash, so I'm just going to Flame Charge here to gain some speed. Sticky Web, that's fine, man. We actually get a crit, which is pretty nice, and I am definitely going to uh, flame charge again because I need as much speed as possible to try to take out this dude's team. Yep, so we flame charge. It does nothing, but we gain times two speed, and now I think I'm going to be able to uh, T-bolt it to death. Kill it, please. Aha, there we go. So we are Shuckle Berry, so if he wants to go into his Torterra, he's going to take a bunch of damage. No, just Altaria. Um, I do have um, Psychic. But do I want to save this? Nah, I'll just go for the Psychic. He Megas and uh, eats a pretty good amount of Psychic. And the Shuckleberry is going to come into play, and we're still going to take half, obviously. <laughs> okay, um, we have like no switch ins for this. Like zero. Yeah, we're just going to have to sack this thing. I'll go for another Psychic. And we get Earthquake to death. So we honestly just might die just straight up. I'll go into my... Um... Chandelure is actually speed tied with the Altaria. Which is pretty scary. Well, what, well yeah, we're going to be slower due to the, uh, the stuff on the ground. But how are we going to take this dude out? Um, I could him with a ground type attack with my uh, camera. Since he's no longer flying. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think we live in Earthquake. We're pretty physically bulky. Never mind, we're not that physically bulky. But I'm just going to go for the Earth Power here. Maybe I'm enough of a savage. Yeah, that's going to do a trailing. Come on, just take it out. We do. We take out the Altaria. Now, Sticky Webs is not really um the best thing for us right now, since our Pokemon rely on speed. Except Torkoal. Um, since uh, these gym leaders, which is not my profile picture, very sorry about that. I usually change it beforehand since my phone's kind of laggy. Yeah, I'm dead here. <laughs> Rest in peace, me. Time to just go for the flamethrower. Rock polish, you savage. <laughs> you absolute savage. Camera out. My sir has insane, insane special attack. But yeah, I do not have Flannery at the moment. All right. Um, I'll just earth power here. He'll just giga drain me. I don't know why. Earth Power will do a fair amount to him. You go ahead and Giga Drain, man. I'm Earth Powering again. 
Okay, so he gains 0% or 0, 0 or something. And how are we going to take this dude out? Well, I got Stone Edge with Blaziken here, but uh, highly doubt it's going to do anything for me. Oh, never mind. I have the balloon. Oh, uh, it came into play. He's still probably faster, though, but uh, I'm honestly just going to Stone Edge. If I miss, I miss. It's fine. We do not. There we go. All right. Yeah, yeah, nice. Very cool. I'm very surprised we were able to take out the Clard, sir. I was very um worried about that thing beating me up. What? Excuse me? What is that? Synchro noise? I am, I am so confused. I've never seen that move in my entire life. I bet there are plenty of YouTubers out there who uh, have made videos on top 20 moves you've probably never heard of. We kind of just one-shot most of this team, like the Torterra got one shot, the yeah, Jolteon got one shot, Cleanser got one shot, and Rabombi almost got one shot, but uh, it is going to get one shot by our powerful flame charge. Oh, Draining Kiss. That's fine. And here comes the flame charge. All right. Pretty cool. Um, again, this dude did not have a very good team to take me out with, but I will take the win nonetheless. Since it's always good to showcase this team in a... Uh, positive light instead of complaining about how uh, annoying it is but here we are this dude's running something like a an ru team along with uu along with ou oh my god i don't know what he's doing but i'm really afraid of um of everything here uh specifically the toxapex since that's just going to beat me up so i'm just going to my camera camera up yeah i think that's the, the best i can do actually my, my, my mag mortar could also do it so i'm gonna go mag mortar that's the one i want to go for first Here's the ride on. Yeah. Um, how am I going to take this out? I think I need to save it. Yeah, I definitely do. So I'll go into my... I'll go into Torkoal. We're going to die here, but, uh, you know, that's fine. I need to uh, bring in a, a, a different Pokemon to uh, take this. Yeah. You go ahead and do that, man. You go ahead and do that. So how am I going to take this dude out? I do have Hidden Power Grass, so I think I could just chuck that out there. Yeah, sure. This is going to be the move. The move to win it all. All right, are we going to take it out one shot? <laughs> no, not in the slightest. <laughs> so this is just how um crazy it can be. It's either we, we win, easy peasy, or we lose. I have to save my Mag Mortar for the uh, Toxapex, definitely. So now we'll go into my Blaziken. And uh, now I can just kill it with a uh, CC. Or do I want an Earthquake here? No, I don't want him to go into a Flying Mon. I'm just going to close combat. Man, this team... <laughs> this team is um, really polarizing. It is crazy. But this dude's probably very confused why I have an Infernape named Blaziken. Here's the Raichu. Not really expecting why. Cause that thing almost got one shot. Dang. <laughs> um, hmm. how, how useful is my Blaziken? I wish I had Mach Punch. I really do. But this thing is definitely faster than me. So I think I'm just going to go into my Houndoom, live the hit, and then Sucker Punch him. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Um, yeah, I'm Sucker Punching. Wait, but what if he sets up? Mm, I'm flame charging. No, what's more important? Houndoom can't really do much. I have to make sure I kill this thing. Yeah, I have to be 100% sure I kill this. Because if I don't, I'm done for. All right, Um, how can I take this thing out? Honestly, I'm just going to Will-O-Wisp here. We're still going to die, because that's just how strong this dude is. But at least he's kind of crippled. Kind of. <laughs> All right, now Blaziken will come in. And um, he's just going to go for the uh, the close combat. <laughs> to be fair, the burning probably wasn't necessary, but uh, it did something for me. All right, we've taken out two Mons. And if we can take out... Um, yeah, here's the Tangrowth. Okay. <laughs> I think he knows that we don't have any strong fire-type attacks here. Um, this is Earthquake. It Definitely, and he knows I'm not going to be able to take him out, but I'm flame charging. Yep. I'll sack the Blaziken. I need both of them. 
Wait, poof. I'm sorry if that was loud on your ears, guys, but um, this dude obvious, obviously doesn't understand what a balloon does. Okay, so he knocks off, so yeah, my balloons pop now. So now I'll go for the flame charge again. And uh, he lives on 1 HP and takes me out with the earthquake. Alright, that's fine. Because my uh, chandelier will come in and just uh, go for the flame charge. Be able to outspeed things. I don't know why all these mods have flame charge. Like, I, it, it's good to have because you can outspeed things. But it's also not good to have. So this is probably Scarf, to be honest. Um, what can I go for here? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do much damage to it. I'm just going to call mine here. Yes, we are faster. He's going to Dark Pulse. It actually doesn't break us down to our Focus Sash, which is pretty nice. And I will just go for the Flamethrower and do baby damage. And we do get a burn. I'll take that. I'll take that. All right, but uh, his mag my Mag Mortar is not going to be able to do much to him since it only has like a... Well, yeah, it's going to hit it for not very effective on everything. So I'll just go for the... Uh, no. Is is electric not very effective on dragon? I'm just gonna fire blast. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, Z power. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, okay, I'm I'm done. I'm done. I get it. And you crit me. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Well we did pretty good. I'm really surprised he didn't go for the Toxapex since that thing was gonna wall me. What is this? Usually I go against things like Ash Ninja. Am I that low ladder? Whatever, whatever. All right, Mono Water, or uh, Mono Fire is probably going to lose to his Azumarill, or Azumarill, however you want to pronounce it. So I think I'm just going to go for my uh, Torkoal and uh, go for the Yawn. Crobat, but why? Probably Toxic Spikes, honestly. But I'm just going to Stone Edge. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, I'm going to overheat now. He stays in. What a savage. I was really expecting him to go into uh, the uh, Scizor, expecting the, uh, the Stone Edge, but I guess he's smart enough to know that, uh, that that's not how it works. All right, we take out the Crobat. He does get a Tailwind up, so uh, we're going to have to deal with four turns of his Mons outspeeding us. All right, now um, he's not going into Azumarill, probably expecting that I'm going to go into something crazy. But unfortunately, my Torkoal does not have Drought, since she really didn't want to have any good moves on this. I'm just Earthquake in here. He's going to Hex me, and it's actually going to take me out. All right, fair enough. Okay. So what can I go for here? I'm just going Meg Mortar, and I'm just going to Psychic. That's literally all I'm going to do. If he switches out, that's fine, but Psychic's going to do quite a bit of damage to the, the Machamp as well. Yeah, there we go. And we are going to be able to outspeed it. So, I think I'm going to flame charge here. I don't think, yeah, it, it, it won't kill. Oh, he's Scarf. All right, all right, fine. You go ahead and, uh, you go ahead and do that, man. Luckily, I'm, uh, I'm Shuckaberry. Oh, no, I, I, I forgot he was Tailwind. All right, here's the Azumarill. Um, he's probably just going to Aqua Jet me, but I'm a, I'm a T-Bolt regardless. Right? Radio? That's fine. Okay. What do I go into now? Uh, t -t -t -t. How do I take this beast of a Pokemon out? Honestly, I really don't. But I'm going to go into my Camerupt, which has a Pasoko Paso Berry, and just try to burn this thing. Are we going to live? We do. And do we hit it? We do. Alright, so now um, our Mons are definitely going to be able to uh, live these hits, which is pretty nice. But he's just going to keep clicking Aqua Jet. He might be Choice Bandit or something. But Choice Bandit Aqua Jet doesn't... Uh... Well, actually, never mind. I've seen Pokemon that run Choice Bandit Aqua Jet. Okay, now I will go into my... Uh... Blaziken. Yeah, sure. I'll go into Blaziken, or my Infernape, and just go for the, uh, the Earthquake here. That takes us down to half, even though he's burnt. Yeah, we can't win this. No way. No ho. No Jose. So I'm just going to exit out. 
since there's no point in me just struggling to my death. But uh, here we are. This is a actual Generation 8 OU team, which I've been looking forward to. So we have Thanga Beedrill, Manaphy, which if it gets a Tail Glow, I'm actually going to die. But I think he's either going to go into his Landorus, or his Rotom, or his Manaphy. He actually has a million things to hit me with. I'm just going to go for my Magmortar. Turn 1. So he does go into Manaphy. That's fine. I'm just going to T-Bolt here. Z-Power is just going to... Th this is just going to kill me. No, Z-Rain Dance. Uh-oh. Is this Swift Swim? No, it's Hydration. I'm, I am I don't know what that does. But yeah, he's just going to kill me now. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, he has plus one speed. I don't think anything is going to be able to take this dude out. Inner fire type attacks have been weakened by the rain. I'll go into my Pasoko Berry user. I go for the uh, the grass. Turn on the timer since, uh, as you see right here, the uh, character has turned into a normal character. So uh, 2020 Charizard XD is going to uh, have to take a little break. So I'll uh, start the recording back when he comes back. All right, so he came back and O-Code me even though I had my Pasoko Berry. So I have um, I have lost. <laughs> Just uh, just like that. So um, I wanted that to be the final battle, but uh, I don't want to end it with a Manaphy sweep. So uh, luckily, the first couple battles were not totally OU, but uh, this looks very scary to me. <laughs> the Greninja is going to kill me. Actually, everything is just going to kill me. <laughs> okay, um, what do I go for? I think I want to start a new series where I just do like a full monotype team and actually try to make it viable. So instead of just having these uh, liked Pokemon, maybe I'll do something uh, something kind of cool. Good luck. Thanks, man. <laughs> I'm definitely going to need it. All right, Magmortar, your time has come. He's probably just going to go Greninja and kill me. Yes, Greninja, don't kill me. He's probably just going to Water Shuriken. One, two, three... Four. Just a four-time hit and a T-Bolt. He's not going to take him out. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Wait a minute. Ah, he only hit two times. The power of Magmortar. The power of Magmortar. I was not expecting Magmortar to actually take that, but uh, we did. He only hit two times. And here's the T-Tar. Um, we are faster than him, but we do not have Focus Blast. If we had that, that would be so cool. But uh, I'm going to... Fire Blast here. Maybe we could burn him. Ha ha. The luck is on my side. And we do get our um our Shuckaberry to uh to just flex it to everyone. <laughs> Alright, I think I can just go Blaziken here. Yeah, I don't see any reason not to. And I am balloon, so uh so that's cool. I'll just go for the um Who's going to try to eat the close combat? A Gardevoir? I'm close combating. I don't care. Yep, here's a Charizard. But I have Stone Edge, so that's fine. He still takes a, a bunch of damage. We aren't faster and probably just going to lose to this. But Stone Edge, just, just chuck it out there. We're probably just going to die. This thing is probably Charizard X. Yep. And, uh, oh, Charizard X, I'm pretty sure, lowers his speed? Oh, maybe he just wasn't max speed. Huh. That's fine. I don't want to uh, tell him what to do. <laughs> so he's crying over here since um, somehow he is um, losing to Mono Fire when he has all these OU mods. I'm not going to flex on him. I'm just too skillful as a uh, Pokemon player. <laughs> now here's the Gardevoir. Absolutely insane mon. I think I'll just go for the, uh, the EQ here. Wait, do I want to save this? I think he's going to go for the Psychic. I'm just Houndooming. Houndoom, eat this up like like chocolate cake. Yep, that's that's what you gotta do, Houndoom. <laughs> All right. Um. So I think I'll just go for the. Uh, um. I'll just go for the Overheat. Take this thing down, and he'll die from sand pretty soon. Yep, Moonblast. But it's actually not going to take me out since uh, well, fire and all that kind of stuff. Um. I'll go for the uh, the flame charge here. Yeah, gain some speed. Be able to outspeed this thing. 
And um, now what do we do? Now I will go for the, wait, is this thing justified? Yeah, I actually don't want to go for the, uh, the dark type attack. I will go for the overheat, miss it, but that's fine. He wasn't going to do that much damage anyways. And he's just going to CC. All right, so his defense is lowered. So how am I going to take this dude out? All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, that's fine. I actually have a very good plan on how we're going to take this dude out. So I'm going to go into my Torkoal, and he's going to yawn. Yes, pretty crazy, pretty crazy. We're going to use our Torkoal as a sacrificial lamb to take off this uh, this final dangerous Mon, even though he... Uh, actually, this dude has like all the dangerous Pokemon. Greninja, Water-type, Charizard, usually runs Earthquake, a Tyranitar, well, it's a Tyranitar, um, Keldeo, Scald, Aerodactyl probably has um, Stone Edge, and then the Gardevoir, which is just kind of here. All right, so I highly doubt he's going to be able to take me out with a, uh, a Scald or anything, but uh, we're going to yawn this Aerodactyl, which is pretty nice. And then I'm just going to go for the, uh, the Stone Edge. Yeah, let's just go for that. Aqua Tail, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Gosh darn it. Like, missing doesn't really mean much to me, since at least we got this thing to fall asleep. So now I think I'm going to go into my... Um, Chandelure. Yeah, okay. I'm going to call mind up here. Stay asleep, man. Stay asleep, bro. Please do it. Alright, um, what do I want to go for here? I think I gotta go for the Flame Charge now. So he wakes up, Rock Tombs me. Lowers my speed, dang it. Oh man. We would have been able to outspeed this thing. Actually, probably not. Yeah, we would not have, but uh, it's fine. Shadow Ball now. He's got a Fire Blast. Why? I know you didn't want to miss, man, but uh, I could have had Flash Fire. You're lucky that I am uh, I'm Flame Body. Alright, dude, you had a bunch of weird moves. But he does get burnt. Hallelujah. He'll die next turn. I can go into my Torkoal now. And just, um, go for the, uh, uh, the Stone Edge. Aqua Tail not going to do that much to me since Torkoal is a tanky motherfucker. Huh, I actually uh, thought uh, Rock resists Rock, but I guess not. <laughs> Alright, now bringing your Keldeo. Or he might bring his Gardevoir so it can have the Synchronize ability. Synchronize makes it so if uh, that Pokemon status, you're status. So uh, we're going to be able to give him the status effect. But he doesn't want to do that. I'm just going to go for the, uh, the Earthquake here. Or Rain Dance. Probably getting ready to take out the Keldeo. Um, do I just spam Yawn? Yeah, yeah. I, I tried to uh, predict his Keldeo so I could try to make that thing fall asleep. But it was for naught. Um, actually, I think I could go into my camera up now. On his Thunder. Nah, he uh, goes for the... Uh... Did, did he say something? I'm gonna lose. <laughs> nah, nah, man, you're not gonna lose. You're good, you're good. Earth power. We're just gonna get hit by a, uh... Okay, he just EQ'd. Okay, Dragon Claw. That's gonna do nothing. Earth power's gonna take him out. Alright, here's the Gardevoir now. This thing, um, well, pretty much he's gonna be able to kill me with anything. I'll, I'll just Earth power. <laughs> Why would you moon blast? <laughs> Alright, um the rain actually ends, so I think the Torkoal's gonna be able to um sack the hit. Hmm. How are we gonna be able to do this? I kinda wanna will wisp here, but I'm just gonna hit in power. CC, you savage. Wait, why would you do that? You 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 just lowered your defense. <laughs> you made it easier for me. Alright, as long as he doesn't kill me, I'm gonna be able to win with the yawn. But that all depends on what he goes for. Protect. Alright, he just gave me more leftovers damage. So I I think I do live like a skull now. Close combat. Alright. Yawn. Alright. Now I think I'm just going to uh go for the Wait, wait, what do I go for? What do I go for? Um 
Oh, this earthquake. Oh, yeah, he wasn't asleep yet. <laughs> Duh. I forgot he wasn't asleep. All right. Now it's all up to Blaziken. Blaziken. Time has come. Does he not even have any water type moves? That's kind of weird. But I'm just going to go for the uh, the close combat here. And that takes him out. So I think that's a GG. All right. Well, we were able to take out Darius for 455 with our epic team of all fire type Pokemon. I think Flannery is kind of a savage, but we did what we wanted to do with Flannery. So with that being said, guys, thank you for watching and keep on the lookout for my videos.